everyone. Today, I'm going to walk you through Adobe Connect to prepare you for your first class. I'm going to go over how to participate in class, how to configure your audio and webcam, how to participate in polls, and where to email for help. While the professor may choose to set up the classroom differently, generally the slides will appear here, your professor or anyone who comes on webcam will appear here, and the attendee list will appear here. At the bottom of the window, you'll see the chat pod. If you simply type in your chat, if you want to change the font color, go down to my chat color and change your font color. If you want to change your font size, click the same drop-down menu, go to text size, and change it to how large you want the text to appear. But please note that the font size only changes on your screen, and no one else will notice a change in the font size. Now I'm going to show you how to private chat. If you go to the attendee list, hover over the person that you want to private chat, and click Start Private Chat, you'll notice a new tab appears in the chat pod, and you can privately chat the person. Also note that this chat is only between you and the person that you private chatted. If you want to get back to the main chat, simply click on the Everyone tab in the chat pod and you're back in the main chat. Now I'm going to show you where you can set your status. Go to the top of your Adobe Connect window and click the drop down menu by the person with their hand raised. Your professor may ask you to give a green check if you're understanding. You may also need to raise your hand to ask a question, or you may want to applaud a classmate for speaking. If you step away, it's important to select the step away option to let the professor or the associate know that you are not currently at your laptop. I'm gonna select my status. Now I'm gonna show you how to clear that status. If you go back to the same drop down menu, at the very bottom you'll see where it now says clear status. And now it's back to normal. Next, I'm going to show you how to configure your audio and webcam. Go to the top left-hand corner of your Adobe Connect window and click Meeting, and then Audio Setup Wizard. It's really important to run the Audio Setup Wizard before each class to make sure that everything is working correctly in the Adobe Connect platform. First, I'm going to play the sound to make sure that it's coming out of my headset speakers and not my laptop speakers. Please note that during this tutorial, you will not hear the sound because it is coming through my personal headset speakers. The test sound is finished, and now I'm going to click Next to proceed to the next test. Here is where I'm going to make sure that my headset microphone is chosen and not the built-in microphone for my laptop. It's really important that you use a headset and make sure that your headset microphone is selected to prevent feedback and make sure that everyone can hear you clearly when you speak. So I've selected my headset microphone and now I'm going to click Next. Now I'm going to record myself to make sure that my microphone volume is high enough. I can see the recording bar is moving and my microphone is working properly. Perfect, it seems like my headset microphone is set at a good level. So now I'm gonna click Next. Now I'm gonna test my silence to make sure that I am in a quiet place and that everyone will be able to hear me clearly when I do speak in class. Awesome, test complete, clicking Next. Perfect, now the audio setup is finished. Now I'm going to show you how to enable your mic and mute your mic. If you go up to the top portion of your Adobe Connect window, you'll see this microphone. If you click the drop down menu, it shows you the option to mute your microphone, disconnect your microphone, adjust micro microphone volume, or select a different microphone. If you want to mute yourself, click mute your microphone. It's important that when you're not speaking during class that you have your microphone muted to make sure that the background is quiet so that everyone can hear. 
To unmute your microphone, simply go back to the same drop-down menu and unselect the mute. Now I'm going to show you how to enable your webcam. If you go to the top portion of your Adobe Connect window, you'll see this webcam button. If you click the drop-down, you'll see Start My Webcam. Hi. Please note that the webcam will not share unless you click Start Sharing. So I'm going to click that now. And now I am in the video section, so everyone in class will be able to see me. I'm going to stop my webcam by clicking the Stop button. Perfect. And if during any of this you realize that your microphone is not set to a high enough level, or if someone asks you to speak louder, simply go back to the microphone uh, button and then adjust your microphone volume. Now I'm going to show you how to participate in polls. So this is the first kind of poll, and it's a multiple choice poll. So I'm going to click my field of practice at CSSW. Once a professor is done, you'll be able to, you'll be able to see the results of the class. Now we're going to show you a different kind of poll, which is a multiple answer poll. So here you'll be able to check all that apply. Perfect. The third poll I'm going to show you today is a short answer poll. And so this is going to be where you can type in a free response. I'm going to click enter and you'll see that it says answer is submitted. Once the poll is closed, you will not be able to participate in the poll anymore. And you'll be able to see your peers' answers for the poll when the professor decides to show them to you. Finally, I'm going to let you know how and where you can email for help. If you need help during the class, go to the person who is your life support specialist. That person will have support written in parentheses next to their name. I have my private chat, and I'm going to let her know I need help. If you need help outside of a live session, then you can email swonline-help at columbia.edu. Clicking the main chat, and there we go. This is the end of our class participation tutorial in Adobe Connect. Best of luck to you this semester.